Betty's already eating. Hello? Okay, everybody find Get a seat.
time for sadness. There's a time for great health. There's even a time for sickness. There's a time for everything under the sun. And today we are celebrating something very important in our lives. We're celebrating Clara and Joe's commitment to one another. I called my uh, mom earlier today. It's Thanksgiving. She lives in Chicago. She said, well, Mike, what are you going to do today? So as a matter of fact, one of the things I'm going to do is renew 50 years of vows. And she was uh, very moved because my mom and my dad weren't able to arrive in 50. I guess they arrived in about 48. So you have a lot of prayers coming all the way from Chicago as well. But what I mean to say by this is that these moments have to be celebrated. And it's lovely how you're doing it. You celebrate moments of food and, and music, but also you put God in the center of this because we're nothing without the Lord. And 50 years of being together is, is, is not a small thing. It comes from God. It comes from prayer and it comes from commitment. So let us continue in our prayer, giving thanks to the Lord on this Thanksgiving Day for the commitment of uh, Clara and Joe. Let us give thanks to the Lord for their 10 children, their uh, 24, 26 grandchildren, and also great-grandchildren that are still coming. Those are all gifts from God. So let us put our, ourselves in silence for a second. Let us put ourselves in the presence of the Lord, also praying for many people, people who perhaps were at your wedding that are now with God, friends and relatives who would have liked to have been here but just can't for whatever reason, that those people feel very close to us in this moment. And the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, the Lord. Some Pharisees approached him, and to test him they said, is it against the law for a man to divorce his wife on any pretext, whatever? And he answered, You have not read that the Creator from the beginning made them male and female? And then he said, This is why a man must leave father and mother, and cling to his wife, and the two become one body. They are no longer two, therefore, but one body. So then, what God has united, man must not divide. And this is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, in this moment, let us uh, call upon the Spirit of the Lord to bless Clara and Joseph that uh, are going to renew their vows, the same vows that they, they took 50 years ago. And they, you would have had a best man and made of honor, I assume, and all that. But today I'd like to invite the 10 children. We do again five over here, five over here. Those children. Thank you. 
Okay, and I'd also like to invite Nelson, who apparently gave Clara away that day for about 50 years ago. So that'd be great, Nelson. Forever, I'm asking you to give her away again. Why don't you stay at this point? You can't say with uh, three questions. Now, they're not real difficult questions, so I don't want you to get nervous. The answer that you will give me is yes, okay? Good. Okay. <laughs> Clara and Joseph, have you come here freely and without reservation to give to yourselves to each other in marriage? Yes. Yeah. Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your life? Yes. Yeah. Will you continue loving your children that come from God and bringing them up, them up showing them an example of Christ in the church? Yes. Well, since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your right hand, turn your arm, you'll see, and declare your consent before God and His church. And I'd ask you to stand without looking at one another. There you go. And Joseph, do you take Clara to be your wife, and you promise to be true to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, and will you love and honor her all the days of your life? Clara, do you take Joseph to be your husband? Do you promise to be true to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health? And will you honor and love him all the days of your life? I'm the dude. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Declare your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent. Fill you both with his blessing. For God is joined, men must not divide. In the name of the Father, the Son. We're also going to uh, uh, re-bless these rings that were given. Now it looks like Joe's had a rough time these years. He's broken in half here. <laughs> but there's a love that doesn't stop. His finger grew. So we're going to re-bless these rings as a sign of commitment. The rings also are a sign of uh, forgiveness. Do you remember the, the prodigal son when he goes away and he leads a scandalous life and he comes back? His father gives him a ring because a ring represents that love which never ends. And so it's not just love and commitment, it's forgiveness. So we will bless these rings as a sign of love, commitment, commitment of ten children and many grandchildren, and a commitment to building a life together and still building even a better future. Bless these rings in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Clara, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. Father, the Son, Give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
deliver us. This morning I would ask Joseph and Clara for candles behind you. You would each take a small candle and together light the candle in the center. And now I think a way of appreciation and a way of recognition would be, of course, an applause.
Don't do that and run away. <laughs> uh, we'll try to get you boys at home. Can you think of Phil? Stairway to heaven. Think of one you're home. Stairway to heaven. I don't think you know anything about it. Stairway to heaven. Stairway to heaven. Stairway to heaven. That's over my head. She didn't even know it was Led Zeppelin.
do it all over again. I think that's the direction I choose. Me too.
I'll come back and say. Bring your media and not a singer.